Hello, um, the last time I did a video like this was about two years ago and I've moved twice since then, weirdly and so I just wanted to do like a little games room tour because some of the things that I bought weren't in the other video because that was in the distant past well, two years ago anyway <laughs> so there's some new stuff and obviously it's a new room so it's arranged slightly differently and yeah, I just wanted to... Uh, is it called a humble brag? I don't know. I don't know if that's when you just write something on Twitter and, you know, you're actually bragging about something, but you're actually trying to be, you know, humble. That's not really my intention. It's just that I think these kind of videos are quite popular because people like to be nosy and see what other people have got. So, yeah, I'm just going to quickly go around my different shelves and show you the uh, the shit and tat that I've uh, accumulated over the uh, last couple of years. Right, I'm about to turn the little screeny thing around because I'm using a an actual video camera this time. The last video um, I was using my iPad because I didn't have a video camera at the time. Cut, cut my own head off there. Um, so yeah, just bear with me a second while I spin this thingy around. Okay, right. Hopefully you can still hear me properly. Yeah, okay, so this is the first shelf. This has got all the Nintendo stuff on it. You've got an N64 with my Everdrive, my Wii and my Super Nintendo, and these are these little things that you got from McDonald's. I didn't get them from McDonald's because I, I never go to McDonald's. Um, but I think I got them at different, like, expos and things, you know, they were like 50p each and things, so, yeah, they're quite quite good. Uh, and moving down onto this shelf here is where all my places. I will say now that everything is all mixed up. I know some people are really, like, anal about having the games all in alphabetical order, but to be honest, as long as I know roughly where they are, I don't really give a toss. So... Up here I've got my PlayStation games uh, and a couple of 3DO games and mixed in with those. Here is my um, Neo Geo CD games. I can tell what they all are just by looking at them, you know, just literally at a glance. So I'm not really that bothered. Um, these are my, again, more PlayStation games here. Not a massive amount, but I've got all the good ones. Well, it's probably quite a few I haven't got that are good. But... And then over here I've got my Japanese Sega Saturn stuff I'm pretty sure they've got the English on the other side like the Dreamcast ones do but yeah you see that they've got they've got English on one side and Japanese on the other but the way that they are arranged are all the Japanese ones at the front so again not too bothered uh, so yeah moving down we've got Mega CD Mega CD Mega CD I've always, it's always I've always wondered why some of them are yellow and some of them are red and then obviously they've got these other ones, which have got the little circles on. Uh, moving down further, Mega CD. Mega CD. A couple of Sega Saturn games. These are the EA Sports ones, or the EA ones, which had the big sort of VHS boxes for some bizarre reason. And then here I've got some Famicom games, which my mate Jake sent me for a very reasonable price. These I play on the um, on the Retron, because I don't actually have a an actual Famicom. And then just a few N64 cartridges here that I have. Um, Doom 64, probably my favourite version of Doom. Mario Kart 64, ISS 2000, World Driver Championship, Mario 64, Pilot Wings, Perfect Dark, and Mission Impossible. No idea where I got that one from. But yeah, I never use these because I've got the, um, the Everdrive, so they're just there because I have them. Moving down here, we've got um, all of my PAL Sega Saturn games. Again, not a massive collection, but, you know, I'm not too fussed. And then I do have a, quite a few of these um, these Dreamcast games that are done in the in the Blu-rays. A guy called Martin K did those for me. Got, like, Hugh Cast games there. And um, he just sent them me for free, so cheers to him for those. Uh, original Xbox. I do quite like the original Xbox. I'm quite a fan of it. Um, so, yeah, I've got... Quite a few games here. Conquer Live and Reloaded. Uh, that's a good one. These are my uh, copied 3DO games. Don't tell 3DO. <laughs> it's really easy to burn 3DO games and they all work just off a of CDR. So that's why I've only got a few actual um, original games. Here's some more Super Famicom games actually. Uh, Big Run. This is a tennis game that my mate Martin gave me. Very kind of him. Game Boy Advance. And then Super Tennis, this one was given to me by a guy called Dean. They sent it me to, like, randomly in the post, which was really good of him. 
Annette and Starling. So I've got those. On to the bottom shelf, these are magazines. And here is my, <laughs> it's my Half-Life 2 collector's tin. It's not got the game in it anymore, but I, collect, I kept the tin because it's useful to keep rubbish in. Um, so yeah, I've got a lot of magazines. Arcade magazine, Dreamcast magazine, a couple of American ones, CVG there. But yeah, I've got quite a few. I'll never have as many as I had before. And to be honest, I don't really want that many anymore because, or again, because it was just a hindrance having to keep moving them around. But yeah, so that's that, that shelf there. And then moving over here, um, this is a poster that uh, a friend of mine sent me, Giant Gram. Put that in a, in a frame. It's quite cool. There's a Jag. This is the one with the 60 hertz switch on the side. Yeah. It does actually make quite a bit of difference in some games. In others, you can't really notice because they were they were pro they were they were actually created with 50 hertz in mind, so you can't really tell that there's much of a difference. Um, got some Atari Lynx games here. Most of my Lynx games are unboxed, but I do have a couple of boxes. And then these are the Jag games. I'm pretty sure I've shown all these in that Jaguar collection video I did a few weeks ago. But yeah, I've got some Jaguar CD. And then just other Jag games. Jag, 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 Jag. Interesting fact for you, all these boxes are empty. <laughs> because I keep all the cartridges in the drawer, so I don't have to keep opening the boxes and ripping them. Uh, CDI, here. And uh, this was actually made famous in the pages of Retro Gamer magazine a few months ago because they did a a, a um, the worst what was it the worst failures in gaming history and Darren the editor wanted a CDI so I lent him that and uh, yeah that was featured in that tiny little picture in the bottom corner of one of the pages <laughs> um, down here that's my Vita got PS One got my uh, NES that was donated to me by uh, Gaz. Uh, Lost Ruin on Twitter. Thanks for that, Gaz. It needs whitening because it's a bit yellow, but I'm not really bothered about that. Uh, here's my trusty 3DO, the FZ1. I think it's the best looking one, to be honest. And obviously, as well, it's the most common. So you don't, you don't have to pay a fortune to get one of those. Um, my system. Picked that up for a fiver, a car boot. And a Dreamcast gun, just hanging around in the background there. Further down here, we have um, the Multimega and a GameCube, and the Mega CD, and the Mega CD 2, sorry, and the Mega Drive. So yeah, got those. Random cable. Uh, these things are Retro Collect, like pop-up banners for an event in a few weeks. Uh, there's a plug, I don't know why I'm showing you this. <laughs> that thing there's got like game, the Dreamcast games in it. It's uh, all my Dreamcast discs, because I don't keep them in the boxes either because they break as soon as you look at them. So yeah. So here we've got a uh, Sega Saturn, Japanese one. Uh, that's the green Dreamcast, donated by my mate Simon, with the uh, the wireless thing for the Dreamcom, which is here, Bluetooth Dreamcast controller. Uh, there's my Sega Sports Dreamcast, which I got recently, and uh, Xbox, Neo Geo CD, Jaguar, Number two with a CD unit, and then another GameCube. This one's got the player on the bottom, and a slimline PS2. That's uh, the Dreamcast barber. Still need to find out who he is. If you if you're watching this and you know who he is, please let me know. <laughs> um, that's the book that they tried to ban, so I'll throw that over there. Um, I didn't just leave that there for to be shown. By the way, I was using it earlier on to do something. I was looking for something for an article I was writing. Um, this is a pixel art dreamcast that was done by ABC Star, A Beads C Star. I think I showed that in the last video. Uh, that's the thing I made with a little, you know, the, the, the dreamcast that comes out of an egg. Uh, I just made that by putting a virtual fighter thing in the background. Uh, this is my Sonic, Sonic the Hedgehog 2 um, airbrush thing that was signed by Duncan Gutteridge, who did the artwork for a lot of Mega Drive games, or the the airbrush artwork anyway. I'll just go across the top here actually. Uh, this is the video that, sorry, this is the letter I've shown probably before, which was a, um, I'm just gonna show my address, it doesn't matter, I don't live there anymore. Um, 
that was sent to me by Rare because I sent them a letter saying I thought Perfect Dark was amazing and they sent that back saying thank you for your letter, very much appreciated. Uh, Metropolis Street Racer poster that was that was used at the launch of the Dreamcast at ECTS 99 I believe. Uh, that one was sent to me by oh, Shedcade, I think it was, on Twitter. Sorry about that. Uh, the, phone, the phone started buzzing, so I had to go. Thank you. Um, this was this is a um, promotional board from the uh, for a game that involved the uh, director of Sega, uh, Mr. Yukawa. That was given to me by um, a guy. He's, he's on Twitter as Every Bit Gaming. So thanks for that. Oh, that's who the I see the giant gram poster was off as well. So I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Uh, room down here, some random discs. What are they? Oh, copies of Ikaruga, Sega Pass 2. Leave them there for now. Um, right, that is my air rifle. So I'll just move that out of the way. Uh, random boxes of junk. Uh, here we've got some shelving. So we've got on there, we've got uh, Planet Ring, Jag Link, Neo Geo Pocket Colour, Link cable thing, and um, 8 bit music power, Lego Dreamcast, Mad Links, a PlayStation 4 thing, and in the background there you've got some like Xbox 360 and some Mega Drive games. Down here, got uh, all my PS2 games and Master System, and then some other things, you know, King of Fighters for the Neo Geo Pocket, a mouse, a Dream Photo mouse, which is for the Dreamcast, which is that knockoff Dreamcast with a screen attached to it. Uh, Shenmue 1 and 2, uh, we've got some things here like. King of Fighters 95 for the Saturn with the RAM cart and um, uh, what's it called? Alien Front and then at the back there you've got Halo 4, the special edition. Right in the corner there's my Wii stuff, Wii games. And then more down here we've got some 3DO and some CDI stuff, GameCube down there and then this random box, things like the Dream Eye and the, the controller, the PS Vita box on all these mass system games again which were donated to me by um, Darren from Retro Gamer, so thanks to him for those. Um, over here, it's got books, you know, random gaming books. Uh, these ones from Brett Wise, I need to actually do a video on, which I will do soon. They're actually, really, really good. The 100 Greatest Console Video Games, 1977 to 1987. I will be looking at that one soon. I did review the other one for Retro Collect couple of weeks ago which is this one classic home video games it's literally got every game for every console and this is the kind of thing that I wanted to do with the um, with the Dreamcast book that I just had a minute ago I wanted to turn it into something like this until Sega said stop selling it <laughs> so that's put the uh, the brakes on that one for now I'll lose that there because I can't bother putting it back in more books more books VMUs in that one and nothing in that one some VHSs there. You know, you used to get VHSs free with magazines. And then this is all boring stuff. <laughs> Dreamcast, again, Dreamcast, 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 da 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 da. And they, they do go back another layer. So you can see that I've got quite a few there. Most of them with no hinges on. Cheers, pal boxes. Excellent stuff. Okay, moving along here, we've got, uh, again, boxes nothing in them that's my uh, thing my phone here's another telly uh, and this has got the PS2 attached to it the fat PS2 and uh, yeah this is kind of like more like junk now over in this corner <laughs> as you can see some Dreamcasts those are like for events and stuff um, my other black Dreamcast that's the R7 with the karaoke unit on the bottom uh, just because it's cool and then just boxes down here, boxes and boxes and boxes. Because I've moved into a flat from a house. We had all these boxes in the attic in the house, but now we're in a flat. We've got nowhere to put them, so I'm kind of forced to just stick them in the corner or wherever they'll go. Uh, here's the CRT monitor, which you know I can use with a VGA connector to the to the Dreamcast. That looks amazing. Uh, it's, that's what's in the background in a lot of my other videos. And then this set of shelving, or oh, there's the you know, the PS4 box and um, the uh, steering wheel for the Dreamcast. 
the PS4 and the Xbox 360 are in the living room because I use them on the big telly in the living room. Um, and then just more boxes down here really, boxes. That's a spare Dreamcast and a spare Dreamcast motherboard and a, um, a GD unit just in case one breaks I can just swap them out with that one. Um, yeah and then this is just like more accumulated junk really, handhelds, GBAs and DS's and controllers. I've got some, that's my podcasting mic. Got keyboards, fishing rods, different bits and bobs. This is for playing, this is for using headphones. That's for using um, like PlayStation and Saturn controllers on the, on the Dreamcast. It's quite good actually. Just move that back. Sorry, you get, if you're getting like travel sickness, then we're moving the uh, thingy around. Another Xbox. Um, Arcade stick, a box full of uh, random junk, again, and then again, just more rubbish really on top here. Got my camera and everything, and that, which has got nothing in it, sadly. <laughs> Not that I drink anything out of it. Uh, some Dreamcast power boards, a Dreamcast modem, a black one, and then some Sonic soft toys at the top there. And this thing's just got controllers in, various controllers for different systems. Yep, it's great, uh, great thing to have there. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Move back round to me now. Oh, turn that round properly. Yeah, there you go. So uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed a little tour of my uh, little. It's, it's more, it's a game room, but it's more of like a what do you call it, like a man cave, I suppose. And uh, I've got my. Saturn and PlayStation down there as well because I made some videos the other day about um, different like ports on different consoles. Oh, I've got my uh, Doom keys up on the door as well. I don't know if you can see them. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. So yeah, <laughs> hope you enjoyed that. It's uh, yeah, it's been been a while since my last one, so just thought I'd uh, invite you in a bit like uh, what's it called through the keel. Yeah. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye.